And it's recording. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to ask you because, you know, it's your phone. Right? Uh, hello, everybody. It's time once again for another edition of the Reno and Doc Show. Season 2, Episode 2. And uh, hope you guys had a good Easter. And uh, we have at least one Easter-related story in this crazy list we have on here. Uh, but uh, we're going to save that one for last because, well... You kids out there deserve a nice Easter story. I guess. <laughs> oh, and um, so we're gonna we're gonna save that one for last, but uh, but uh, and the mastery. Anyway, it is time once again for the. No, I already said all that, right? Um, in which, uh, well, this week we would have a sponsor, but unfortunately our sponsor decided to blow himself up at the last minute, so maybe next week. That yeah, is a dog. Yeah, it is. There's more than one dog. Yeah. Yeah. We would keep the damn dogs chained up. This is a boom hole. They don't keep any of them chained up. I think that's the truth. I think they're rowdy kids. But anyway, uh, we're here to do uh, another edition of the Reno Doc Show and, of course, do the shout outs and everything like that. So let's get things going because we might have a storm coming. So there goes the thunder. I'm hearing stomping. The dogs are heavy. We got to see going. just going to know what to do. I have no idea. All right, starting things off with animal control officers in Bloomington, Indiana, found a python at a Walmart just chilling on a shelf. <laughs> well, somebody wanted to leave their snake. They said, here, we'll leave him at Walmart. Somebody will buy him. I would imagine that python would probably have a couple of joints, and they'd wait in and look at him just going, okay, Mr. Python, hey, what's up? <laughs> Uh, four twenty just passed, man. We're we're here to rescue you. Cool, cool. I'm just chilling. Okay. <laughs> Don't give me that. Go get give me some more weed, man. How would you like to have? How would you like to go into a place and just say like, you, you got to come in here and rescue this python? Screw that. Don't worry, it's just chilling. What do you mean it's just chilling? <laughs> it's in the freezer. <laughs> A man in Kenosha, Wisconsin, had a tiny drill bit removed from his lung after he inhaled it, undergoing a dental procedure. <laughs> Where does that map? Don't get, don't get, go back, back, That's back, why we got a divorce. <laughs> Nuts. Kenosha, Kenosha, Wisconsin. Pay attention. I think he was eating cheese. And they're trying to get all the cheese out. Well, I may not eat cheese ever again. I'm going to be afraid this drill bit's in the dark. <laughs> uh, a person in, I didn't say male or female, that's why I said person. So, you know me, I hate being PC, but that's how it is. Right? One person in Ireland has made over 12,000 complaints against a Dublin airport in 2021. Oh, I wonder what the complaints are about. They won't get my flight going. It's just noise complaints, basically. Too many people making noise? Shut them damn kids up! I'm not going to say anything. I don't want to tick off our uh, Ireland fans. But it probably has something to do with the alcohol. Probably. <laughs> okay. A couple of bears had a wrestling match on a trampoline in British Columbia. Couple of bears. Mm -hmm. All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, we got uh, Stone Cold Bear and a Rock Bear, and they're going at it here in Bear Mania. Bear Mania. Best thing to go with. They're clawing the shit out of each other. I'll tell you that right now. You bites coming in there. Well, I bet. I bet you AEW would probably sponsor that in about in about ten seconds. I'm sure it would. I bet now we ticked off our AEW fans. At least the one we know of who lives in Paris. I don't think we know that many AEW fans. 
they're out there. They just they just don't want to admit it. Can't blame them. <laughs> well, I guess you can, guess you better delete that email. Or AEW was gonna con- was gonna contact you and hire you as a. On the other hand, you guys are all right. <laughs> <laughs> Twelve thousand a year. What do I gotta do? Clean up the ring. <sighs> Labor work. <laughs> well, fuck you, Dan. Now you suck. <laughs> This is kind of embarrassing and kind of gross at the same time. A woman somewhere northwest of Seattle had to be removed from an outhouse after she fell into it trying to retrieve, retrieve her phone. <laughs> I phone Billy and all I guess I'll just dive in after it. Look, I'm sorry, man. I mean, if, if my phone fell into an outhouse, like, you know what? I could just I can just go get another one. I'll buy one one of these days with a can or something like that at I mean, I have spare ones here at the house, but I'm thinking back down, you know. I mean, I, you know, I, I got a few that I use for different things, but back down. If one of them fell, to, fell into the toilet, I'd be like, well, I still got two more. <laughs> you can keep it. <laughs> a food expert has said that you should eat toast upside down because it's life changing. Oh, yes. I'm sure it is. I mean, it'll just it just change your life. Yeah. Stupid. Well, I'm not I'm not 100 sure they meant like you should be upside down or the toast should be up should have like the. Did uh, they go to Boonville? Probably. <laughs> Sounds about right. Or the University of Arkansas. I, there are some people who actually eat toast with the uh, with whatever they spread on the one side, you know. With, with yeah, we call them Razorbacks. <laughs> University of Arkansas Razorbacks. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Please send all hate comments down below from anybody who, who either attended, goes to, or is a fan of the University of Arkansas Razorbacks football, baseball team, whatever you guys got. Your dumbass football team. <laughs> oh boy. Well, at least he hasn't been. T- well, I was gonna say he's about. He hasn't. He so far has not ticked off the Bearcats, but that might be coming. So we'll see what happens here this second. Uh, New York Yankees fans re- uh, pelted the Cleveland Guardians. I didn't even know they were called the Guardians anymore. Cleveland uh, Guardians? They were called the Cleveland Indians. Yeah. Well, well, you know how those PC morons are, you know. You can't be the Washington Redskins. Can't be the Cleveland Indians. Oh, for love Indians. God. So they changed the Cleveland Indians to Cleveland Guardians now. Yeah. How fucking stupid. Well, not like it helped or anything like that. Uh, New York Yankees fans pelted the Cleveland Indians outfield, out, outfielders with garbage as the Yankees won a last-minute game 5-4. to four. We're going to throw garbage at you because the fucking Yankees won. Because we're from New York and we're fucking stupid. Oh, damn. So far, University of Arkansas Razorbacks deserve an apology and the New York, New York deserves one. Well, they ain't going to get one. <laughs> You throw garbage to somebody when your team won? How fucking stupid is that? Actually, that's a little bit... I'm going to throw a New York ratchet! <laughs> it's not quite as bad as most fans who riot and, you know... Well, football fans are crazy. I mean, they've taken down goalposts and stuff. Soccer fans, they just tear apart. Oh, yeah. Everything. One of the stupid places to do that, University of Arkansas did that. They were stupid this year on that. <sighs> Taking down goalposts. Man, we won! <laughs> Well, you didn't go nowhere, did you, bitch? You can find Mr. Wheat <laughs> pretty much anywhere here in Boonville, so all you gotta do is just look for him and you should find him. No problem. Take one smell and you know where Boonville's at. <laughs> yeah, this is this is something that The Rock wouldn't be cooking. No, this is the kind of stench make The Rock get sick. A woman in Cocoa, Florida, has been arrested. Oh, this, this is something that I don't know why, but I got a feeling he's going to comment. Well, he's commented on all of them, but I got a weird feeling he's probably going to have some kind of a comment on this one. A woman in Cocoa, Florida, has been arrested after she threatened to blow up her son's high school cafeteria unless the workers gave him more food. <laughs> My son's a fat ass. He wants some more food. I'm a blown fucking cafeteria. You don't give my fat ass son some more fucking food. That fat motherfucker's got to eat. Now feed that fat buck. (laughs) 
<laughs> the bad part about it was the threat was made back in February and they finally arrested her for it. I'm going, are you serious? Well, they had to find which one was the mother of the fat ass. <laughs> which fat ass I, kid is it? I imagine. <laughs> There's several up here. <laughs> Bound to be one of them's got a crazy mother who wants that fat buck eat more. Uh. <laughs> Seriously. I'm gonna blow up the cafeteria if you don't feed my fat fucking pig again. Florida, y'all not doing y'all selves any favors. No, you're just getting worse and worse by the week. I thought Boone was bad, but goddamn. Even people in Florida are getting stupid. Oh, wait. There's more <laughs> from Florida. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, I spoke too soon, Reno. A Florida bride and her caterer were arrested after serving their wedding guests... Marijuana lace lasagna. <laughs> Let's get high before me and my husband fuck. <laughs> Let's get okay. high so I can pretend he's a woman and fuck him. Les Bo, bitch. You know that, she had to get out because he was one ugly motherfucker. I guess. He's probably the fat ass that didn't get captured for him. She probably thought, shit, I gotta get high, I gotta fuck this fat fuck whose mama says he needs more cafeteria food. Well, there you go. See, see, the, the, the caterer should have went to that school. Look at the size of the gut on that motherfucker. The caterer should have went to that kid's school and just gave him all that marijuana. He probably still wouldn't stop eating. You'd, you'd, you'd... Hell no, the damn bride's gonna have to be high just to fuck him. I wonder if the mother's gonna blow up the wedding for not giving his fat ass more food. <laughs> you fat boy more food that way. Come on, damn. I know, but still, it's just... If you don't free my fat pig with kid, I'm going to blow up your cafeteria because he belongs to have all the children's food because he's fat enough to eat all the children's food. There's 450 children in there, but my fat-ass kid can eat every bit of their food. Fuck, man. Now to come around here, got a few fat-ass cops to join him without eating... <laughs> They might go along with that blowing up because they gotta eat too. All right, next. Thank you. <laughs> I was like, how much longer could this tangent go on? Because I'm just, I'm enjoying it, but still. I mean, you might as well send a kid to school with a trough. <laughs> Throw some slop in there and say, "There you go, son. Eat you, fat little motherfucker." I assume it's a boy. God forbid be a girl. We know she'll never get laid. Then again, he probably won't either. He'll probably eat her out of the house at home. <laughs> anyway, go on. And finally, a man dressed as the Easter Bunny uh, just... <laughs> A man dressed as an Easter Bunny to visit a grade school in Austin, Texas and handed out eggs stuffed with condoms. What school does this motherfucker go to? Well, hi, kindergarten kids. Do y'all know what this is? This is an egg inside of it. Ask your parents about it. And he's not in jail. Come on, Texas. Throw the motherfucker in jail. He handed out condoms to elementary kids. What the fuck is wrong with y'all? Lock his ass up. No, fat ass is around here. Couldn't do that, though, because he's an Easter Bunny. Easter Bunny says, have condoms, don't fuck. <laughs> Why'd you give him condoms? It's kind of ironic that somebody dressed as a bunny gives out condoms. and gets Yeah, ain't no shit. Out. And you got to think this guy went to an elementary school to do this shit. Yeah. The guy belongs behind bars. But I'm gonna bet nobody arrested him. Oh, I didn't read the whole story, but I can imagine they probably just let him get away with it. I'd be goddamn by side I was like, some kid's parent be beating his head in. 
My son gets parent, I'll be mad as hell down at school, like, what the fuck is wrong with y'all? Let that idiot in there. Unless he's just a fucking retard, he couldn't help it. That's not PC. <laughs> I don't give a shit. <laughs> Then again, maybe it's Kanye West dressed up as Easter Bunny. Uh, thought it was a good idea to get, get more publicity for him. Anyway. Damn, what's something wrong with people? We might as well walk into a school, a high school, and, and, and as dressed as Easter Bunny, hand out guns. Here you guys go. Shoot the shit out of each other. And then the scream this cuts bullying. <laughs> oh, hell, just go just go get a greased bunny, have a stripper, and have just strip dance in front of all the kids. There you go, kids. Want to know what this means? And she's one of your teachers. Ooh. Oh, boy. You know, teachers don't pay that much. <laughs> Hey, you got teachers now that are sleeping with their students. Look, I mean, look at that one bitch in Florida that got busted for sleeping with her elementary student. Then she gets out of prison, or she gets out of going to prison, then later marries the motherfucker. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, no one got trouble for that. She claimed she was so abused because she was supposed to be raped or something like that. Now it's two of them happened in Florida and they got away with it because they had beautiful blonde teachers. Florida? You're starting to look like the dumb state. No offense. You're getting there. Either that or they, the state says, hey, if it's blonde, it's got good pussy, fuck it. Hey, blondes have more fun. That's true. There's a lot of truth in that. Blondes are pretty good fuck. <laughs> All those redheads ain't so bad. Some redheads. Anyway, shout outs. So if you're wondering why is this video so doggone long, it's because you had, you had to go on a tangent about three or four, three uh, different subjects. Well, good reason. Yeah. Marijuana laced lasagna. My favorite's the fat ass kid. Yeah. The, the, the mother who threatens to blow up the cafeteria if she don't decide to, <laughs> if school don't decide to spend thousands of dollars to make a trough for him. <laughs> Can we get on a shout before I run this, this video goes too long? Okay. Uh, before we get to the shout outs though, this channel finally made it to 300 subscribers. Thank you. And uh, I just found that out uh, earlier because I was just, uh, you know, just uh, trying to trying to make sure I got uh, the usual shout outs written down. I didn't want to, I didn't, didn't want to forget anybody. And uh, I just saw that uh, this channel's finally reached 300 subscribers, so it's awesome, guys. And uh, now we just ask you to help get the Reno Wheat channel to at least 100 subscribers. And we still got a long ways to go, but hopefully you guys can help that happen. And, and uh, my channel, I'm still trying to get between at least 450 to 500. And so hopefully we can make that happen real, real soon. But let's get to this week's shout outs course. Please subscribe to this channel. Help get it to 127,215 subscribers. Oh, yeah. And uh, of course, we have the Wheat Channel, My Channel, Dr. Metal Freak, Amber Sis, Grease Monkey 1215, Fury of the Madman, Santu, Betty Price, Price Family, Golden Game Ready 3. And this week's bonus shout outs go to uh, some fat pig in Florida who, who apparently can't eat, he can't seem to get enough food in the system. Um, I'm kidding. <laughs> I believe that. <laughs> uh, lasagna based, marijuana, marijuana based laced lasagna. Uh, Reno's number one fan, whose name is Carl. <laughs> okay, can we get on with that? Okay, all right. Uh, this week's bonus shout-outs go to Beans Life Canada, Toxic Sonata, Not Like Others, Head Frame, and Transformer Van King 4. Until next time, guys. Peace out. Ooh. Peace. See you guys.